Let's Fiber Spider back again in the kitchen once more. I'm having so much fun doing the In the Kitchen series. I am absolutely loving it. Now, tonight we are going to be making a dish that I've been really looking forward to because it incorporates two of my favorite things, potatoes and cheese. Mm. Yes, this is Comfort Food Incarnate. It is the hash brown casserole. Never made it before, but I've got a very good feeling about this one. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so first things first, I have my oven preheating at 350, and I have most of my ingredients all set to go. Now you're gonna need a bunch of different things. Now, of course, there are a million and one variations of this recipe. It's also often referred to as funeral potatoes because it is a popular dish to bring to either potlucks or to funerals. It's a comfort food. It does its, it does its work, it does the trick. So that being said, we need a bag of frozen shredded hash browns, which I thawed already two cups of sour cream, one half cup of butter melted, which is the equivalent to one stick of butter, half a cup of chopped onion. I like onion, so I just use an entire uh, small onion, two 10.75 ounce cans of cream of chicken. Now, I've seen variations on that as well, so I am going to be using cream of mushroom instead. I was hoping to find sort of like a, a cheese in broccoli cream, but I couldn't find any at the store. That was my luck. So we're going to go with cream of mushroom and one and a half cups of grated cheese. I'm probably going to do like two cups because I'm a glutton for the cheesiness. And one and a half cups of crushed cornflakes. Now I'm not a huge cornflake person, however, I love potato chips, and I have seen where you can use crushed up potato chips as a crispy topping instead. So I'm gonna try that instead. So I've got sour cream and onion potato chips, and we're gonna give that a go. So yes, this is my first time making this recipe, but I have confidence. Do you have confidence in me? I have confidence. I think we can do this. So let's start mixing our ingredients together in a big old bowl and let's go to it. Alrighty, so it called for a 24 ounce bag. I happen to have a 26 ounce bag. I think I'll be just fine. And I got these at Walmart. Hashtag not sponsored. In fact, I got most of this stuff at Walmart on my way home from work the other day. There we go. And also you are going to need a nine by 13 casserole dish as well. There we go, that is a lot, my goodness, okay. Okay, let's roll up our sleeves here. Okay, now on for the next thing. I've got my melted stick of butter. Let's pop that in there. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. This is gonna be very, very rich between the butter, the sour cream, and the cream of mushroom soup. Okay. And so the sour cream, it's two cups, which is 16 ounces. One cup is eight ounces. If I did my calculations correctly, <laughs> famous last words, right? So let's do it to it. I think I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> now, my mom, quite
quite often, like when we're having fajitas or something like that, instead of using sour cream, she'll use Greek yogurt, but, and honestly, it tastes pretty darn close, believe it or not, but I think let's just go with the sour cream for today. Okay, so we got that going, and got my onion all chopped up. Julia Child would be ashamed of me, but you know what? That's okay. I, I never claim perfection when it comes to my chopping skills. Okay, let's start mixing this up just a wee bit, because my goodness, this, this bowl is already like really, really full here, and I still have a bunch of things to add in. This, this, I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> oh man, okay, because I still have to add in the soup and the cheese, and I have a secret ingredient that I have yet to mention that I'm going to add in as well. So let's sort of level this out just a little bit here, and then add in our soup. Two cans. You can, Sam, just follow your nose. Okay. Now the reason why I opted for cream of mushroom instead of, oh, cream of chicken, my oven has officially preheated, very nice. Now the reason why I opted for the cream of mushroom as opposed to the cream of chicken is because of my secret ingredient, which is a leftover Okay, please don't overflow. <laughs> oh man. Also, it would probably help if I used two spoons to sort of toss it a bit, which I can do. Okay, now, uh, for my secret ingredient, I have some leftover ham that we had frozen uh, after Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna pop this in here as well. And I did defrost it and everything. So let's just scoot this out here. And I chopped it up into little easy bits here. Okay, I, I'm just really hoping that half of this does not end up on the counter as I'm going to be tossing. Okay. And uh, you know what? I'm going to start mixing this up before I even attempt the cheese. So I'm going to start mixing this off camera in case if a mishap happens and uh, I will be right back. All right, so you know what they say about necessity being the mother of invention? Well, I figured, what do I have that's bigger than that bowl? The big old stew pot. So, got it all mixed nicely together, and now, now I just need to add the cheese and then get it into my casserole dish. We are on the tail end. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the cheese, like it said, you know, about a cup and a half. I'm going to use two, probably. Now, this is Colby Jack, finely shredded Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. Ooh, love it. All right, so let's roughly do this, shall we? You know, I, I'm, I'm going to sort of guesstimate, if you will. There we go. That, that's one. <laughs> yeah, one and a half, right? Right. <laughs> you know, I figure if you can't enjoy comfort food, what's the point, right? So, got that going on. Mix this up on nice and thorough. 
I want cheese throughout. In fact, I might even add more. Because if, if I don't see it in here, I need, I need to add more. Mm-hmm. I do believe in following recipes, but I also believe in tweaking them and altering them so that they suit my desired tastes just a little bit more. And not to toot my own horn, but when it comes to leftovers, I am the king of doctoring and tweaking leftovers to create something new. As far as making things initially, no. <laughs> no, I am not. Okay, now I do see cheese fairly throughout, but you know what? Am I happy? Am I satisfied? No. So, because I want more. How do you like it? How do you like it? More, more, more. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, got a clump. Okay, so I have, instead of one and a half cups, I would say I have more along the lines of mm, two and a half, three, <laughs> roughly speaking, but that's okay. You know, another thing that you could add, I'm quite sure, uh, perhaps some frozen peas. I think that would be really cool. You know, other little bits of leftovers. Why not, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm sort of going based on the initial recipe, but you know what I always say? March to the beat of your own bongos. Okay, now I think we are just about there and kosher, um, so to speak. So, going to spray my casserole dish, get this in here, and then we're going to add the chips, and we will be good to go. All righty. All right, so we are good to go. I have all of my crushed up potato chips on top, and now I just have to pop it into the oven for 45 to 50 minutes. Again, I haven't made this before, so... Wish me luck. Let's pop this sucker into the oven. Here we go. Okay. I will see you when it is done. That is, what, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, so it has been 50 minutes at 3.50, and I've been spying on it through the window, and uh, it's all bubbly-bubbly. So let's take a look-see at what we have. Hopefully it looks like dinner, because I am a hungry lad. Alright, let's see what we got here. Whoa! 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 Okay. tell you it smells really good and yes it is really really bubbly around the edges I hope that the the middle is also nice and cooked because we'll find out <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop over to the table and grab a it's not gonna be a piece but grab a bunch and uh, I will see you in just a moment all right, now for the moment of truth. And actually, yeah, it is boiling hot. So hopefully I will not burn my little mouth. Um, and also, you know, I was hoping that it was gonna be more solidified, um, but no, it's actually, you know, you need a spoon. You know, it, it's not like something you can slice. That's what I thought it was gonna be initially, but that's what we got going on over here. 
it looks so creamy and rich. I wasn't, I wasn't deceived when I was putting in my ingredients. So, bon appetit. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to be making this again. Most definitely. It was so, so easy to put together. You know, it, it, prep time was minimal, and it is delicious, and I've got tons, and I love leftovers. Mm. Now, this actually is, I believe, the first time that I have made a casserole. Success. And I have to have another bite. Also, I'm glad that I added the ham. It adds a, a nice extra texture in there as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Definitely really good. Also, I think that if uh, I perhaps added some peas, that would really be nice maybe some chopped up green onions for a little bit of contrast in color. Overall though, I am delighted and I'm definitely gonna be making this again and I can see why so many people make it. Mm -hmm. And as far as the amount of sour cream and the two cans of condensed soup, I thought it was gonna be too much. Actually, no, it's perfect. It is awesome awesome. Totally worth repeating. And I hope that you give it a try too if you haven't already. Now, if you have tried this recipe or something like it before, please let me know in the comments section what is your variation to the recipe. I mean, I added ham. Another thing I was thinking of actually adding was the sliced up jalapeno, uh, pickled jalapenos that I have. But I, I wanted to err on the side of caution and vanilla, at least the first time trying this recipe. But let me know what variation you add. Mm, I'm very curious. So I must finish this and probably have seconds. And uh, woo, I'm excited. <laughs> so listen, everybody, thank you so very much for watching today. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up down below. And uh, the list of ingredients, of course, will be in the description box, as well as links to other things. And I, I love doing these videos. They're so much fun, and I get to eat afterwards, so it's even better. <laughs> so listen, everybody, you have a great, great day. Stay inspired, stay cooking, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and part of taking care of each other, make some good food. Yes, share it with share it with somebody. Yeah. So listen, have a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.